Okay, you're back. Well, let's yabba dabba do it. All right. My turn. Well, hmm. Well, you know what I want? I'm going to explore. Yeah, totally. I'm going to explore and I'm going to draw and I'm going to hope to draw a horse tile so I can do traps, which would lead to despotism. Because my exploring is only level one. So let's see what I find. Boop. More incense. Arg. I do not need this incense. That is unfortunate. Now, um, so that was my turn. I didn't explore. This slid up here. It is Jen's turn. Now, I should say, um, you, you might be thinking, hey, luck of the draw can be really punishing in this game if you don't draw the tiles you need to develop what you want. There is a get out of jail free mechanism. These two guys give me access to gold. And, you know, access for the rest of the game. As long as I want gold, as long as I keep my two tribes in these spaces, I can keep on generating gold for inventions. But here's the deal. If the game ever gets to a point where I don't need that gold anymore, I can say, I forget what the term is, but basically I can say I'm going to raise this land by taking it, flipping it over, and treating it as a wild card. So if I really want a horse really bad, I can just go on ahead and burn one of these to the ground to um, give me whatever I need to develop. Uh, but, and, you know, and so that could be a very, very important move to make from time to time. But you are burning through your land. So anyway, so that was my turn. I've done some exploring. I didn't find what I wanted. Say la vie. Jen's turn. So, um, right. Jen's going to go ahead and take this move. She's not going to pay anything. She's not going to do the movement. She's going to do the invention. And Jen has domesticated pooches. She scores two points for that. Um, that adds another grow tile. You can see this picture of a grow. So now that is it. From now on, the only other tiles for any other in this game. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. Um, if somebody develops gathering, explore will get added as well. So as it is right now, explore is the, the toughest thing to do because there's only one explore, whereas there's two growth and two move. Now, this in this particular game, totally random as part of setup. Um, oh, hold on a second. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Arr, I, I, I got myself mixed up here. I didn't add growth. Durr, I'm reading it wrong. Growth. Jen's growth potential grew by one. That's what came here. What um, got added uh, when she developed dogs was nothing. She gets two points, but no new tile gets added to the board. My mistake. So, all righty. Uh, Jen's caught up with me, and this leads to animal husbandry. Man, we really, I mean, you know, there's two things. Dogs leads to animal husbandry. Traps leads to leather. Jen really wants to get another horse. I want to get horses. There's two big things up there. Right now, Jen's doing better than me with one horse, and she's really strong at growth. So, actually, I misspoke looking at this. When somebody develops shamanism, that's going to put a new event in. When somebody develops gathering, that, you can see the icon right here, is going to put the other growth tile in. So this other explore tile is never going to get added. For the rest of this game, while movement and growth are going to be easier, exploring is always going to be the toughest action to do, which means it's often going to be the most valuable thing to pursue. Right. So anyway, that was Jen's turn. She has domesticated dogs, revealed that, you know, once dogs are on your side, hey, you could start, um, you know, uh, you know, controlling the entire animal kingdom. That makes sense. And um, so that was Jen's move. It is my move now. And what do I want to do? I could start moving around. But you know what? I want to hold on to these gold for this despotism. I could skip this, but then I've used up my last coin so that I could grow. But if I do that, then... Let's see, what's my growth at? My growth is still at one. I can get a third thing out, and then later on I could move... And then I could burn one of these incense because they're pretty useless to um, use it as a replacement for traps. Yeah. Or do I just wait? Mm, see. No, I, I'm going to hold on to my coin. I don't want to you know, really limit myself. So I'm just going to choose move. And I'm going to move one of my tribes over here to Incense Town, Incenseville. All right. Uh, because later I will burn this incense to, um, to give me access to traps. All right. So that was my turn. Jen's turn. Let's see. Where is she at now? Um, ooh, growth. Hey, it's free for her this time. That is exactly what she wants to do because she is the growth queen. She gets to put three new tribes on the board. Boom. Now, it's going to take her a while to move these all around because her movement speed is not very good. But this can give her access to a whole bunch of stuff. All right, so that was Jen's turn. She's done some growth. My turn again. Hey, ooh, hold on a second. I wasn't looking at that. Um, Jen just took this growth, which put raiders in the cheap seat. This is going to score me three points because, again, I am still the strongest. If Jen wanted to, she could have skipped growth and taken this. 
And she would be a terrible raider because she doesn't have the strength. But this is effectively three points for her. Because if, if I mean, because I will definitely take it, guaranteed. Yeah, you know what? I, I should have paid a bit more. Jim was so excited about all the growth. She should have looked a little bit further ahead. Instead, she's going to pay that coin to take the Raiders. She is not the strongest. She doesn't get three points, but she prevents me from getting three points. Boom. All right. So that was Jen's turn. But you know what? Heck, then that means I'm, I'm not complaining because Jen left this growth for me. Yay, I get a coin back. And uh, my growth level is still at one. So I put another guy out here because I need to move him back over here. To, um, to, right, so that was my turn. All the events are gone. All right, it is Jen's turn now. So, and now growth, which she did want, it has gotten very expensive again. She can afford it, but if she puts a bunch of coins out here, all that's going to do is give me access to stuff. I think Jen will happily explore right now because she would really like to find that second horse tile if she can. Let's see here. What does she find? More sheep. More sheep. Okay. Let's go on ahead and put this over here. Alrighty. So that was Jen's turn. My turn. Hey, I'm happy to move uh, for free because let's say my movement is my movement is two. I have two movement points, so I could move one guy two spaces, or I could I could spread guys around. But what the heck, I'm just gonna leave this alone because now I've got my guy. All right, so I am now set up to make my big move into despotism. Meanwhile, Jen, she decides. All right, she's done waiting. She's going to go on ahead and pay one to grow. It's taken her this long. She is going to, and now she has to put these all in a space where she has a tribe. She's going to take time to ro roll them out, but you know, it, it'll pay off in the future. Back to me, back to my turn. I say, thank you very much for the coin. I will take this move, not to move around, but instead to invent. And what am I inventing? I am going to get rid of this incense. I'm going to burn the incense to turn into a wild card. This guy stays here so that I have access to traps. Boom. That has increased my growth potential. I score one point. Not that exciting, but more importantly, next turn, I can develop despotism because I am, I am ready to go with all my gold. Boom. And uh, see, no event got added. Jen's turn. She will... <sighs> she doesn't want to do it, but she'll pay a coin to move because she does need to start moving her guys around. Although, actually, hold on a second. Maybe she doesn't. Because... I mean, she's sitting here on these sheep. <sighs> Nothing else on the ground floor needs sheep. Second level does. Maybe something in the third level. Everything on the third level requires three icons instead of two. So how bad does she want to hold on to this sheep? How bad indeed? You know, because, I mean, it's a little late now, but if, you know, if she had burned this sheep to turn into incense temporarily, I mean, she could have gotten shamanism, which would have uh, increased her strength, which would have meant all these tiles, well, she would have been tied, so that wouldn't have been that great. But there might be other tiles coming out that um, benefit strength. Or, but that's the thing, she doesn't want to burn these tiles because she has wheat. She has incense. Yeah, yeah, she is going to, she is going to pay one, uh, one to, to move, so she's going to start moving stuff out. Um, to get to the incense. All right, because then that'll give her access to shamanism later, which will increase her strength and put another event in. So that's what Jen did. She just did a move. Now it's my turn, and I say, well, thanks again for the, um, you know, um, what goes around comes around. I'm not going to explore. I'm going to develop despotism, which scores me three points. One, two, three. It increases my strength again. I am very strong now, and it adds another event. Conquering. Explore as your strength level. So once again, this is really good for me. Uh, if I ever try to do an explore normally, I only get to draw one tile. But because of my conquer, if I claim this, because of my conquering ability, I would get to draw three tiles, a super explore. Although, you know, not if Jen gets it first. Although for Jen, it's just a regular explore because she only has a strength of one. All right, so that was my turn. I am a despot. Um, who uses barter and smelting. No doubt, I was smelting all my golden weapons, that, that, uh, you know, and I, I smelted all my traps, um, and that's led to a, des a despotic rule because I hold all the gold. Yeah. It, it, I love how you know, a story just starts to evolve, whereas Jen, um, you know, I guess she's more in tune with nature. She hasn't really developed too terribly much. Um, you know, she's basically, she's leveraged dogs and traps. That's it. Um, right. Although, I mean, they have been fruitful and multiplied, certainly. So that was my turn. I'm despotic, and that has revealed a, a Bronze Age ability, horseback riding. 
Well, no surprise. Um, you know, as despots, we need horses to ride around and lord over everybody else. Um, but heck, if you develop leather, that could lead to horseback riding because somebody develops the saddle. Yay. All right, so that has come into the fray now. And it's three horses. So horses are kind of a big deal. Uh, level one, level two, and level three. Wow. Okay, so that was my turn. Jen's turn. She's just going to move for free. And her movement speed is still only one, so she's just spreading dudes out. Um, boop. All right, so she's got back to her horse. Now, if Jen wanted, yeah. So this is the interesting thing. On her next turn, she could invent. She's got a horse. She could burn this incense, um, you know, destroy the incense to get to leather. And then if she trashes a couple other things, she could get to horseback riding just like that, which would increase her strength. I mean, yeah, I mean that would be one, two strength. Jen could in in increase me or could beat me on strength, which, um, ooh, so that's really interesting. But anyway, so back to me. And my turn. So what have we got here? So I could grow some more. I could pay some coins to move. I could explore. I could pay three coins to be sure to snag this out. Because, I mean, I saw Jen grab stuff that would have benefited me in the past. If I want to make sure I can do this so I can get a big triple explore, maybe it's worth spending three of my four coins. But then I'd be back to being broke again. Hmm. But I'd have a super explore that would really set me up for later in the game. But if I don't, if I do something else, then will Jen pay two coins to keep this from me? I don't know. That's a big gamble. That is a huge gamble. Considering the fact that Jen's been willing to pay to take him four, I think I'm not willing to take that gamble. I'm going to spend one, two, three coins and explore at my strength level. Um, no surprise, seeing as how we are despotic, um, that we might go out and try to conquer stuff. Explore is my strength level. I get to draw... One, two, three tiles. That is huge. One, two, one, two, three. There we go. So I found some sheep, some more gold, and some more sheep. Well, more sheep. Two sheep means I can get me to cheese making. Despotic cheese makers. We're very cultured in our despotism. Let's put these over here and put this other gold up here. I don't know if I need that other gold. Heck, we might need triple gold for something else in the Bronze Age. Who knows? But... That was very expensive. Although, you know what? I mean, I will pick up some of these coins. Jen will get some. I'll end up getting some. What is Jen going to do right now? Um, Jen, she's going to take this. She gets my coin. Um, she's not taking this to grow, though. She's going to invent, I think. Is she? Yes, because now that she's over here, she's going to invent shamanism. So again, you know, whereas me, I'm these cruel, despotic, money-hungry people conquering the whole world. Jen is a tribe of nomads who um, are really kind of touchy-feely. You know, they've got their pet dogs, and now they've got, you know, mysticism. So this is increasing Jen's strength. It's giving her two points. She's the first to do it. And it's putting another event into play. Volcano. Negative one point if you're the weakest. So strength matters again. Um, so that's really interesting. Nobody wants to take this, although I don't mind taking it because I'm the strongest. But Jen would lose points. So this is something that as it comes down, this might get skipped over several times. And it'll take a while before it builds up enough coins that somebody will eventually get hit by the volcano. All right. So that was Jen's turn. And now it is my turn. And I see, again, that shamanism was a dead end. But now that Jen's used this, she doesn't mind burning this incense in the future to get to leather. So we'll see how that goes. But in the meantime, what am I going to do? Um, you know what? I'm going to move, which gives me a coin. Yay! I like to move it, move it. And my movement, we are fast. I get to do two moves. I am going to move and move. So we are sheep masters, because that's going to lead to some delicious cheese. Oh, and also dogs. So we'll be able to get dogs, which could get us towards animal husbandry. Okay. Although dogs I'm less excited about, because I'm not the first one in there, so I don't score as many points. Because remember, this is a, a race for points. All right. So that was my turn. Jen's turn now. She is going to, yep, she's going to take this other coin. So of the three coins I spent, Jen ended up taking two. I ended up taking one. She's not going to explore, though. She is going to invent, and so that means, hey, she's got horses. She's going to burn this incense, trash it, and that gives her leather um, because her shaman wants to have a nice leather outfit. So that increases her strength. Boom. The, the balance of power in this, um, in this early civilization has changed. Now, um, let's see. Oh, actually, that's interesting. I'd have to look this up. I think, if, I think we're tied for weakness. I think somebody has to be in the clear lead to be strongest, but you can be tied for weakest. 
So whoever gets this right now, because we're both tied for this, is going to get negative one. But anyway, so Jen's increased her strength. She scores three points. She's back in the lead. And she adds another event to the queue. Uh, migration. Move uh, equal to your strength level. So that's a, ooh, and that'd be great for Jen to be able to shuffle. Well, that's, this is good for both of us because we both are strong. Okay, so that was Jen's turn. She has developed leather. Um, and if she moves around a little bit, she could burn two things to get, uh, to get to horseback riding, which is five points, and it'll get her access to this as well. Wow, okay. So that was it. It is my turn now. And um, I'm going to make some cheese, everybody. So we're just going to use this move, not for movement, but for invention. And that means I'm the first to cheese. So that means my movement has increased. We are even faster as a tribe. I don't know why. I, well, I'm sure you can come up with a reason why cheese makes you quicker. But anyway, so that is three more points to me. One, two, three. And another event gets added. Ooh. It is disease. Exhaust. That's what it's called. When you flip a tile, you exhaust it. This is going to cause somebody to lose, wow, three tiles. That's super painful, especially for Jen, because she doesn't have near as many tiles as me. She hasn't explored as much as me. Wow. And this is coming up. And yo, you can keep paying coins. And actually, both of these are bad. And right now, Jen has a lot more coins than me. She can afford to wait these out a lot longer than me because she's got all those coins. Wow. Okay. Oh, by the way, cheese leads to philosophy. Um, praise Jesus, I say. We don't need shamanism. We worship at the, at the, you know, the high ideals of cheese. And the plow, um, which, you know, I get, makes sense from the gathering. Oh, yeah, smelting, because we know how to smelt stuff. We know how to build a plow. Nice. Okay. Um, okay, so those two things got revealed. All right, there's only two more things to reveal. By the way, this philosophy requires three incense. And Jen just burned her incense. But you know what? This is a tough thing for her to get to anyway, because she's not at level one or two to reach that. So I don't think she's minding too terribly much that she burned her incense. But I'm kind of happy I've kept mine, because I've got a third of my way towards philosophy now. All right. So that was my turn. And uh, so it's Jen's turn. Hey, Jen is really good at growth. She could do, um, let's see. Or, yeah, I think, I think Jen's going to grow some more. Um, which costs, which, I mean, where's her growth at? Three. Yeah, so she gets one, two, three. And she can put them on any existing tribes. Let's go on ahead and spread them out. One, two, three. All right, so Jen, I don't think she needs to do growth anymore for quite a while. And, you know, and she can afford to build a much bigger area and spread out and give herself access to lots of resources because she, they have been very fruitful over there. But back to me, back to my turn, I don't want this volcano because we're tied for weakest, so that's not good. So I'm going to have to pay a coin to skip it. But here's the thing. Jen is going to... Jen can pay coins a lot longer than me. So I think the writing's on the wall. I am going to take this volcano. But if I could get stronger first, where can I get some strength? Um, oh, if I develop leather. If I develop leather, then I will pull into the lead on strength. Except I have no horses, so I would have to trash two things. Wow. Well, I'm going I'm to put that off. I'm not going to take the volcano right now. Instead, I'm going to take this. I'm not doing it to move, though. I'm doing it to invent because, hey, I've got all these sheep. I'm going to domesticate some dogs, which gets me one point. And um, it increases, so I am better at baby making as well. All right, so that was my turn. Jen's turn. Um, yeah, she can certainly play the waiting game on this volcano longer than I can. So does she want to explore? I think she does want to explore. Because she needs more tiles to spread all her people out. What's her explore stat at? Only at one, though. So let's see what she gets. Only one tile. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Again, I need to think a little bit further ahead. If Jen pays another coin, she can jump to this move as your strength level and spread everybody. <sighs> mm, right. So here's the thing. If Jen pays, um, you know... Well, she's not going to take the volcano. If she skips this, if she doesn't, I have one more coin so that I could do this, so that I could move around a lot. But then that leaves three coins here, so Jen could wrap them all up. She'll lose one point to get three coins. That makes a lot of sense. Because here's the thing. She'd rather explore first before she does this huge migration. And here's another thing. Since Jen's put a coin here, if she just goes for the explore like she originally thinks, there's a chance that I won't use my last... Well, I see. Am I going to burn my last coin... 
just to get a bunch of movement that doesn't really benefit me that much because I don't have a lot of people to move? Or will I go on ahead and lose my point so I can get two coins back, leaving this for her, this migration, so that she'll be able to move more efficiently once she's explored? That's the decision she's got to make. And that's a tough one. And you know what? I think that's a good place to stop, Zinni, because hopefully that gives you guys a pretty good idea of what Tribe's early civilization is all about. Now, if you'd like to hear some final thoughts, you can hit that I in the top right corner screen or follow the show notes in five, four, three, two, one.